Welcome back to Figure Feedback. So I recently did a video review on the McFarlane DC versus Vampires Batman figure. And I mentioned in that review that I thought that this particular battle axe looked good, but like a lot of McFarlane accessories for melee weapons and even some bows, the detail is there, but they really skimp when it comes to the paint. So I thought that I would try to make this weapon look a little bit better. And I'm just gonna keep it extremely simple. So from the army painter here, I've got this hardened leather speed paint. And these are paints that's usually reserved for painting miniatures, but we're gonna see how it works out for this weapon. I'm just going to paint the handle of this ax with the hardened leather. And then for the blades, we're just gonna hit it with a little bit of dark tone. So we're just gonna see how this turns out. First, I'm just gonna make sure that I uh, got my brush all good to go here. And then this piece of plastic is just gonna act as my uh, palette. So I'm just gonna give these a good shake. The reason why I have these paints is because uh, I got into miniature painting. And miniature painting is a really fun thing to do. And then from there, I started trying to paint uh, action figures, some artist proof McFarlane figures. I put some pictures on the screen and also of a Van Presto Dragon Ball statue that I painted from gray that I think turned out okay. So it's a really fun way to give your figures a little bit more oomph. So because these are speed paints, or at least one of them is a speed paint, it's very, very thin, so there's no need to uh, thin it out with water or use like a wet palette or anything like that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit here on the brush and start painting this handle here and see how it works. So what the speed paint does is it gets down into the crevices and it brings out the hidden detail. It acts as a shadow and a highlight all in one. So this is great for people who just want to like paint miniatures really, really quickly. Speed paints allow you to do that. I changed up the angle for you a little bit, but just from that little bit of speed paint, you can just see how more of the detail is starting to come out here. It got into the crevices of the handle and it's producing like a nice black shadow. And then this entire handle here is going to be brown. So I'm just going to continue to paint over this and all it needs is just one thin coat. So you don't have to worry about going back over it multiple times. Like if you were painting with uh, regular acrylic paint, which would require thin coats, more than one thin coat. If you're interested in these speed paints, you can pick them up on Amazon or if you have like a local comic book shop or a place where, you know, people gather to play like, you know, Magic the Gathering or like Warhammer 40k stuff. You can pop in there and they probably have a whole assortment of different paints. This is just from the Army Painter. I also have different brands. Um, Citadel has their own. Uh, version of this but I'm just using the army painter this handle is done isn't that cool so for the blade here I'm going to use some of this metallic black paint that I just got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna dry brush some of this metallic black on the handle just to or on the blade just to see how that looks because the blade just looks a little bit too clean. So we're gonna try to dirty it up a bit. So with dry brushing, you just gotta get a brush that you don't really care about much, like this one. And I'm going to dab the paint on it. And then I'm just going to wipe it off. Wipe off as much as reasonably possible. I'm just gonna hold this down so I can get a better grip on it. And just doing a little bit of that dry brushing to kind of just make that 
silver look a little bit dirty and then I can just turn around and do the same thing on the other side here and the more you do it the more pronounced it becomes so you can probably see some of that darker detail in there now just making it look a little bit more worn as opposed to this side where everything is nice and clean and just because i can i'm going to add a little bit of greedy gold metallic to this and i'm just going to put the gold right like around this little circular part right there just to make it pop just a little bit So this here is the finished product. And as you can see, it was really quite simple to put together. All I did was add a bit of that hardened leather speed paint right here to the handle to bring out some of that detail, make it nice and brown, and then use some metallic black paint and dry brushed all around the silver part of the blade. It helped to darken things up a bit, make it look a little bit more worn, a little bit more gritty. And then last but finding, finally not least, one of my favorite colors, the metallic gold, the greedy gold that I used as a highlight for these little circular parts here on the face of this ax. And then also some of the more circular uh, parts right there on the handle of the ax. And that's really all that it took. You don't have to be super talented at art or painting in order to pull something like this off. All you need is just some simple brushes and a handful of different paints, and you can transform any mediocre looking weapon into a pretty darn decent looking one. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of Figure Feedback, and I'll talk to you next time.